Okay, so I went to Galaxy's Edge over the weekend. Um, I posted a video the other day about, depending on when this goes up, could be Tuesday for you, so yesterday, or it could be Wednesday, so a few days ago. Whenever this video goes up, I did post a video a few days ago. It's still a small little montage of all the things I got to do at Galaxy's Edge, which was, it was an insane amount of fun. I'm gonna talk about the park a little bit and then I'm gonna get to all, all the merch that I got, but it's incredibly detailed. It's so incredibly detailed. Hollywood Studios, it's just, you know, it's just normal Hollywood Studios, but once you enter that tunnel to go to the Galaxy's Edge, it's like, it's, it's really like you're in an entirely different place. The cast members were so fun. They were so much fun. They were really into it. The Millennium Falcon was just, gorgeous it was it was so 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 good and it was just it was just absolutely amazing it was a great experience i would 100 percent do it again i re i totally recommend um if it, any star wars fan a big fan or someone who's just now getting to the fandom to definitely definitely check out uh, galaxy's edge um, so i'm just going to go through all the merch that i I bought at Galaxy's Edge. So I'm gonna start off with the first item that I got. I got this bucket hat, Star Wars bucket hat. Pretty freaking dope. So definitely o OT. So you got Yoda, Boba, Princess Leia, R2, my favorite character, Chewbacca, and next to my other, another favorite character, uh, Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, and then C-3PO. This hat, I wore like I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the video. I wore this like almost the entire trip, <laughs> the entire time, because like, I I just love this hat. It's so awesome. It's great. The uh, next thing that I got, these were pretty much free. Um, I got a bunch of coasters from the cantina. Um, oh, let me flip to the other side because there's more other stuff on the other side. Um, the cantina, other than the rides, the cantina was like the best part of it. So if you plan to go to Galaxy's Edge, I definitely like highly recommend you get reservations for the cantina. I mean, they go pretty fast and for good reason because the cantina is just absolutely like awesome. Now I got very lucky. Let me show these off again. I got like very lucky because we didn't really make reservations. We got there super early, like 9 a.m., like when it opened, and we just got in. Um, so we got very, very lucky to get in Cantina, but I highly recommend to do the reservations because, you know, that may not happen for a lot of people. But yeah, Cantina, so good. The next thing I got, now, like my favorite soda is Sprite. So I had to get, I, got, I bought two of these and I drank the other one. I bought another one to keep. A little, little Sprite, little canister. It's pretty cool, actually. It's really, really cool. I really like this. Just a nice little, little neat little thing. Pretty cool. The next thing I got, this was at the, the milk stand. So this was a souvenir cup at the milk stand. You got a Bantha on one side. And you got this thing from The Last Jedi that I have no idea what the name is. Uh, let me know, because I don't, I don't know. But you got a Bantha on one side, whatever this is on the other side. It does light up, pretty freaking cool. Looks way better on camera than it does in person, I'm not gonna lie. Um, the blue milk, I had the blue milk and the green milk. They are, they do have like a different taste to it. I can't really, they're both, they're both like a slushy, but I can't really put you know, I can't really describe the taste of them. They're very unique. I prefer the blue milk, personally. That's just me. Um, a lot of people like the green milk. Personally, I, I prefer the blue milk over the green milk. But yeah, this little thing, pretty awesome. This was my Yoda bag. <laughs> um, carried this around the park. Pretty freaking cool. <laughs> it's... Definitely probably one of my favorite things that I bought. Probably my second favorite thing that I bought from the park. Pretty freaking cool. Like a few few people stopped me. Someone took a picture of me with it on. So that's cool, I guess. But yeah, there's a few items in 
this bag that I want to go through real quick. Starting off, got Sabak, card game of Sabak. Pretty awesome. Next thing that I got, I got some chance cubes. Pretty cool. Um, I will say a lot of things were kind of like a bit pricey. I'm not not gonna lie, it was a little. A lot of these items were a little pricey, but it's Disney. Like, what, what do you what do you expect? Like the chance cubes, like these four of them, ten bucks. Like that's. You know, I just realized I didn't really get to. Sh I didn't really show off the chance cubes or the Sabak cards. So let me like, let me just do that real quick because I just, I totally just did not show them all. I just kind of like showed y'all the packaging and just, just, uh, just didn't do it. This is probably an edit in to when I do talk about the, the, uh, the chance cubes and the box. So this is what this part is. So you got this little baggie with it for the chance cubes. Pretty cool. They feel pretty, pretty, just like standard dice, honestly. Um, you got, let's see, you got one, two, you got three reds on this side, three blue on this side. So just kind of just normal little chance cube. Let me roll it real quick, see how, how it rolls. Rolls pretty good and it landed on blue, not lying. It actually did land on blue, so pretty cool. Um, I do like the little chance cubes. They're, they're kind of a little fun, fun little thing to have. Also an edit in, but I'm gonna show y'all the Sabat cards. Now, the Sabat cards were about $15, which honestly, in my opinion, that's not a bad price. Um, Cause you're getting a ton of cards. You're getting some dice with it. You're getting like the complete set of Sabat. So pretty cool stuff. Here are the dice. Pretty awesome. Pretty, pretty cool. For the cards themselves, some really, really good quality on the cards already. I can already kind of feel it. This is really good quality cards. They feel really, really nice. They look really, really good. I just dropped it. There it is right there. So if you don't know how to play Sabak, that's fine. I don't know how to play Sabak. Has an instruction manual right there. Pretty, pretty awesome. So yeah, Sabak. I recommend Sabak. I got some patches. They kind of got like a little messed up in the bag. Not too much though. Some patches, pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure these are iron-on. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure these are iron-on. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna put them on yet. I think I'm gonna go out and buy like a hoodie and put them on the sleeves. Or I have like a jean jacket where I just put random patches on there. Um, I don't know, but really cool. You got Indoor, you got Hoth, you got Red Squadron, and then you got, I believe, looking at that, I believe it's Starkiller Base. I believe it is. So, yeah, patches, sick. Okay, so, there's, I got this thing, the Imperial Badge. Haven't opened it yet. I was gonna open it on camera and kind of go through it. This thing, looks super sick so let's go through it real quick okay so this is what it looks like coming out of the box got a little few extra pieces here you got the actual badge itself i don't know what this bottom piece is but we're going to find that out um on the back of the box it shows you what each pattern means so you can be general you can be a moth which is what this pattern is right now it's not grand moth it's moth right now um well, Grand Moth and Moth, they're the, they're the same pattern. That's weird, I thought they would've been different. But, okay, so Moth and Grand Moth are the same pattern. I stand corrected. Um, you got Rear Admiral, you got Vice Admiral, you got Admiral, you got Grand Admiral, which is what I'm gonna do. Moth, which is this, and Grand Moth, which is this. Then you got Chief of Staff, Deputy Director, and then Director. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna make this uh, Grand Admiral, so I'm gonna do that real quick. So like the cool thing about this, I'm just gonna say real quick, the cool thing about this is they are like magnetic pieces. There, there, are li there are little magnets here and like little clips there. So it can like, it just straight, it just stays, you know? That's cool. Another thing as I'm, as I'm playing with this, another thing is you can separate them into two pieces. So you can take this part and just have like the one badge or you can just have two, pretty dope. 
So here it is. This is the Grand. I'll put in the Grand Admiral pattern. Three yellow on top, three red on the bottom, six blues on the side. But the way to kind of like put this on, which side do they put it on? Is it this side? This this is the time you can yell at me if I'm doing it if I'm doing it wrong. I'm pretty sure they put it on this side. Could be wrong, but it is. There's it's this little metal piece here, and it's a magnet. Pretty awesome. So let's put this on real quick. So boom, there it is. I'm Grand Admiral Mamba. Just call me Grand Admiral Mamba. That's the name for the rest of the video. <laughs> so next item. This is really cool. This is a really cool item. It is. It is a Sith holocron. Let's get this out of this little pouch. So boom, right there. A Sith holocron. This is awesome. This is super, super cool. I'm gonna put this there. This is super awesome. Super, super cool. It is a little loose on some sides. I don't know why that is, but. So it lights up, it makes sounds. There's these two little sensors on the side here. We are so Darth Bane, that's what I've been told. I was Darth Bane giving you a message. And you just push the top and you turn it off. Another thing that I got to go with um, the Sith Hawk on was this red, turn it the other way, was this red uh, kyber crystal. Let's see, let's get this in here for the camera to see. Kyber crystal, it's pretty awesome. With the red crystals, um, you have a chance to get a black one. I unfortunately did not get a black one. I just got a normal red crystal, which still cool still still super cool let me show it to y'all real quick so there it is the red kyber crystal and what you can do with the red kyber crystal and the holocron there's a little door here where is it All right here there's a little door here and you can open up and you can drop your little little crystal in there shut it Turn your holocron on. And if you press those, now it's, it's a bit more red. Since I put the crystal in there, it's a bit, well the camera's probably not gonna pick it up. It's a bit more red. Let me turn the lights off so y'all could see it better. So there it is, shining red, super, super cool. So now if you press down with the kyber crystal in, if you press down these sensors, it will give you a secret message. You have taken your first steps to a larger world, but the Jedi path is a dead end. Only the dark side can complete your training. So, there's a few different Sith that you can get with Skyrim Crystals. There's the Emperor, Maul, Dooku, and Vader. I got yeah, Vader. And this goes perfectly with my Vader hilt. Have y'all seen my Vader hilt? What's your favorite hilt? The your favorite hilt that you own? Oh, <laughs> Carter. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I don't have it with me right now. It's getting worked on, but I do have a Vader hilt. All right, but Sith Hawkron, perfect. I'm so happy that I got Vader because again, it goes perfect with um, my mini Vader collection that I got going on. Okay, so this next item goes with a, another item. I'm just gonna show y'all real quick. This is a personality chip. And what this personality chip does, if you go and build a droid, um, it changes the sounds of the droid. So let me grab my droid real quick, show off my droid, and let's put the personality chip in it and see what the sounds are. So this is my droid. Um, his name is Blue Peep. I put it on my Instagram story and let people throw out some names there. A lot of people gave out some pretty dope names. It was kind of a hard decision. So I grabbed three that I really liked and I just kind of combined them. So Peep, 
there were multiple ones that used blue so that was cool <laughs> that was cool that a lot of people you know gets a lot of people get the theme that's going on here so a lot of people use blue so i just combined it blue and then peep and it fits blue peep so this is my droid he is freaking dope so let's open him up let's put the personality chip in and let's just see what kind of sounds he makes oh there's like these red arrows right here you gotta like twist away from them and then you can open it up and then this is kind of like what the inside of it looks like so this is just the inner workings of it on an off switch right there it's kind of hard to see but it's right there and you got your personality chip slot right there so let's just put it in real quick so here we go well other way or was it the other way there we go boom personality chip is in let's turn them on real quick and let's just check out the sounds so there we are he's all back together now and it came with his little remote here um i will say the remote feels like very very cheap it's a very cheap feeling remote. Like if I were to drop this on concrete, it's probably a goner. It's probably just straight up gone. There is an app. There's a Droid Depot app for like controlling the droid itself. I preferred the app, but I had to reconnect my droid every time. And it's such a hassle to reconnect. Especially with this, cause you gotta open them up. You gotta turn them off. You gotta turn them back on. It's just a hassle. So I just use uh, the remote, but check out what sounds he makes now the chip i got was one of the scoundrel chips so so slightly honestly it's slightly different from what he did sound like he did sound like bb-8 like exactly like bb-8 So you can move his head around. I'm not gonna like show y'all exactly how he rolls around and stuff. Um, but he does move pretty good on carpet. I don't really recommend him rolling him on hardwood because I don't know if y'all can see, he, it does get scratched up a lot. Rolling along, he does roll fine on carpet though. Yeah, I like this. I like the droid a lot. This is probably definitely my favorite item that I've got. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the rides just real quick um, and my thoughts on them. The first one we did was a Smuggler's Run, which was like, we did that like when the park first opened up, so we never had to stand in line for about two hours. Cause like once we got off, it was about a two hour wait to just get to it. We stood in line for, for like when we first got there, we stood in line for maybe, maybe 30 minutes maybe at the most but we didn't stay in line for long the smuggler's run was just super super cool it felt like a video game almost it, it didn't feel like a ride it just felt like a video game like a like a, just a simulation video game like you could control the ship and everything um you have a pilot you have a co-pilot you have a gunner and you have engineers uh we didn't have engineers it was just pilots and then we had a gunner um i of course had to sit in chewie's seat because chewbacca is my favorite character as i had to sit in his chair that ride was so so sick it was so so cool rise of the resistance the ride oh my gosh <laughs> that ride just 10 out of 10 one of the best rides i'm not even saying that because i'm a star wars fan one of the best rides I have ever been on. So, it was so interactive. It was like perfect mixture of interactive and a ride. Like it was definitely one of the best, definitely one of the best rides. And again, I'm not saying that because I'm a Star Wars fan, I'm saying that because it's, there's a reason why there are reservations for a ride. There's a reason why they have reservations for that ride we missed out on the early reservation no big deal um i really honestly i wasn't expecting to get on the ride period because it was so hard to get in as we were standing in line for a uh, rock and roller coaster which that's again 
Rock and Roll Coaster, side note, that's another one of my favorite rides. I do like Rock and Roll Coaster, it's a good one. But, side, but anyway, back to it. As we were standing in line for Rock and Roll Coaster, we did end up getting the Rise of Resistance um, reservation in for about four o'clock. So that, that really got me hyped. I was so excited for it. It was just mind blowing. Everything was just so mind blowing. Like I was talking about the level of detail about in the park earlier, but man, man, like when you first walk out of that shuttle and you see all those stormtroopers there, it was so crazy. Uh, we, when you get in a little cart and you kind of like ride through everything, that was super, that was super cool. And there's a part where you go into like a, like a escape pod and it, it drops you. I'm not so big on drops. Like, I'm not big when a ride just straight up drops you straight down like that. I'm not super big on that. I was kind of fine with that because it wasn't that big of a drop. But it did still like, it, did, it still kind of like scared me just a little bit because the lady behind me was like, oh, here comes the drop. And I went, uh, the what? <laughs> and then boom, drop. I was like, oh, that's, yeah, that, that was definitely a drop. But overall, that ride, there's a reason why there's a reservation. Definitely one of the best rides I have ever been on. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. That's pretty much my experience. That's all the merch. 10 out of 10, I definitely want to, want to do it again. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who might enjoy it. So other than that, guys, I'll talk to y'all in the next one.